Welcome back to another 3 of Savior video. GH here. We got a new patch note today, June 9, 2020. We're gonna look at it and see what's new. Let's do this. Hmm. Okay, guys, here's the patch note. Update. Graphic effect on equipping and removing an eye core to an item is removed. <laughs> I was wondering about this because every time I remove an eye core, it will say success. But I was like wondering, what if it failed? <laughs> anyway, they removed it now because there's no way of you failing when unequipping an eye core. The next one we have are events. We have a new one called Stamp Tour Summer 2020. We're gonna look at that in a bit. We're gonna go over the other things first. Ongoing events, okay. Closing event. What? They're closing the new returning saber event? Oh, we will come back with a new and better event. Okay, make sure they stay. <laughs> the next we have is the premium stuff. Support the game. If you love the game, just don't overdo it. The last one we have is bug fixes. According to this, they fix the attribute of barrier which is called devotion okay it will now properly apply when using the other attribute then gemstone feud stuff mercenary badges will now be paid properly after the gemstone feud is over and now i guess let's check out the events called stamp tour of summer 2020 let's go okay here it is the event period is going to last until july 7 2020 so that's about a month all users can participate and to participate you need to visit the magic association ntc in klaipeda and orsha and select participate in stamp tour okay i guess i should do it now and according to this after participating in the stamp tour the NPC will give you a tour journal which contains the various missions you can complete to obtain the rewards of the event. And to access the journal, according to this, you need to type slash note or you need to click this new button right here. I just noticed it. Okay, so the event is simple but not really. <laughs> we need to do the missions on the journal so that we can get rewards. So what are those missions and the rewards? According to this, in the growth category, we can get class vouchers and unidentified mystic tome. If you reach those, if you finish those mission and reach level 450, I guess what I'm gonna do is just go to the good stuff so that we won't waste too much time. And looking at the rewards, the next good stuff is this level 420 stage 10 transcendent scroll. And what you need to do there is clear the episode 12 quest. I think. Clear episode 12. I think those are the quests. Yep. The next good reward here, I guess, is the attribute points, 10,000. You need to complete over 50 collections. And then the other one is you need to interact with all of the statue of goddess in Mina. The next one is kinda good too, the Sandra's detailed magnifier. It's 10 pieces. If you're trying to make the perfect eye core. And what we need to do to get those magnifiers is just identify unidentified items 30 times, which is very simple. The next one is awesome too, a ruby anvil, three pieces. And the mission is very easy. You need to carry an equipment with 15 enhancement and 10 transcendence. I hope everyone have that kind of equipment. This next one is pretty much the same. Then the next one to this is extract eye core from equipment with level 430 or above. This is doable but this is gonna be very annoying. Hmm, and what else do we have here? Oh, this one, shining 9 star gem abrasive. What we need to do here is clear legend raid 10 times, which is easy, easy peasy. Just do the solo mode and you will be fine. The next one is clear uphill defense, all kind of levels, very hard, all difficulties. And you will get mercenary badges. I don't know, why is it just 10k only? <laughs> anyway, it's better than nothing. 
and what else we got another attribute points 10k 10 pieces so that's about 100k and what we need to do is give 100 million or more accumulated damage in weekly boss raid three times during the stamp tour okay some of you might have difficulty with this but if you have smoogies or attacker this should be easy for you i don't know about that one because that alienates a huge player base of new players and then participate in goddess grace three times oh, okay so i just need to roll one time and i'm gonna get 10k attribute points okay okay that repair kit is very easy to do that pamoko solution exp is also very easy to do and then tokens lots of them we need to purchase an item one time from the market during the stamp tour then the other one is draw gem 30 times what so to get a seven day token we need to draw gems daily for 30 days or we could just pay for it and then the last one is succeed in fishing 200 times during the stamp tour and we're gonna get a flamingo fishing rod and we're not done yet there's more step five once you've completed all the missions including the weekly missions talk to the magic association npc to receive more rewards and the reward is a box which contains the following items an exclusive title for the stamp tour more attributes more ruby anvil and a stage 10 transcendent scroll for level 420 gears and that's it guys what do you think is this stamp tour awesome or not share your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you like the video hit the thumbs up share and then subscribe to be part of gaming hardcore family and as always this is gaming hardcore see you in the next one